Hello fellow teammates, welcome back to the Iron Team, and if you're new, thanks for joining. So we recently put out a video on the new server's carbine and how to pick one up through the crime scene events, but we noticed a lot of people are still struggling with finding these events and how to get them to spawn. So we decided to put out another video to help you with that because this is an awesome weapon and we feel everyone would benefit from having this gun in their arsenal. Now what we're showing you in this video will not only get the crime scene spawning, but will save you valuable time. So, if you've been playing GTA Online for a while, you know it takes about 30 minutes before random events will spawn in free roam. That 30 minute timer is based on a session, not your account. Meaning, whenever a session has been active for 30 minutes or more, random events will spawn. The only time it's tied to you is when you are the host of a lobby. Like when you start a private lobby, you are creating a new session, which in turn restarts that timer. That's why it would take 30 minutes for a crime scene or any other random event to spawn. So you need to leave private lobbies and search in public ones. You are not the host when you join a public lobby. The player who created that session or the one that's been in a lobby the longest is, meaning that lobby's timeline depends on them. So if the host of that session has been active in free roam for 30 minutes or longer, random events will spawn in that lobby and you'll have immediate access to them. Think of it like getting to a theater late and the film has already started. You missed the introduction. So here's what you need to do. Log into the game as normal and go to a few of the spawn locations to see if a crime scene appears. Don't check them all, just fly past a few of them. If you don't get one to appear, join another public lobby and repeat the process. Now, before you jump into another lobby, you want your character to be in one of the spawn locations. Change your spawn location to last location. That way when you load into the next lobby, you'll already be at one of the possible crime scene locations. So that's the first method. And we want to show you the next part in real time. So we're going to go over the second method while we're traveling to the crime scene spawn location. Now, you might want to try out the second method if you're worried about griefers. But to do this one, you'll need a friend to help you out. So for the second method, you and a friend need to get into an invite only lobby. Remember, whoever starts the session is the host. So to make this quicker, ask them the host. Join their lobby and just play around, sourcing crates, doing payphone hits, sales, or nightclub popularity missions, anything like that until random events begin to spawn. Whatever you do, just make sure you both stay in free roam. When you see the blue dots for random events appear, go and start searching the spawn locations till you find one of the crime scenes. After you find a crime scene and collect a component, force the game to save, then log out with your friend staying in that same lobby. Then log back into the game and get back into your friend's invite-only lobby. Since they are hosting the 30 minute time frame will already pass, and you should see random events spawning as soon as you enter. Then just rinse and repeat till you have all five pieces. All right, so now you see this crime scene spawned in. We just loaded into this public lobby and the first spawn location we went to had a crime scene. It's that easy. And with some luck, you'll be able to find one in each lobby you jump in. And remember, you don't need to search all the spawning locations each time you enter a lobby. For us, we stuck to the ones in Los Santos since they are closer together. But for reference, here is all 10 locations. These are the exact spots where each crime scene event will spawn. There are 6 in Los Santos and 4 in Blaine County. So there's more than enough spawn locations to check in the city. So like we said, with some luck you might only have to get into 5 public lobbies or invite only lobbies if you do the second method. We hope this helps everyone out and relieves some of that stress from searching for these crime scenes. If it did, and you go on to unlock this weapon, let us know. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time, teammates.